I remember listening to a preacher one time. He's talking about someone who was telling him, you know, the devil's doing this and the devil's doing that and the devil's doing this and the devil's doing that. And he looked at him and said, that's exactly what he's supposed to be doing. That's who he is. The world's coming against me. It is supposed to. My flesh rises up against me. That's what it is. But this is not our home. This is not our ultimate reality. There is something waiting for you beyond the veil. If you are in Christ, that is so extraordinary. If you were to catch a glimpse of it right now, it would fracture your mind and destroy you. So yeah, I can hope. I can hold on and go forward. One thing I try to communicate, I'm so sick and tired, it just, what's coming? I don't know the fraction of it, and what I know is an older minister, I can't even begin to communicate it, and that's the pain of the preacher. There's a limited vision of my mind, my mind from Scripture of what's coming, but even that I can't communicate to your young minds. It is so big, so glorious, it is worth dying 10,000 deaths to catch a glimpse of it. And that's what you need to see. Your problem is not that you're too passionate or too wild. The problem is you're just dead inside. You play video games, you watch other people live. You live your life vicariously. You were never supposed to do that. You were made in the image of God. And if you're a Christian, you were recreated in the image of God. What are you doing with your life? To go on with Him, to serve Him, to love Him. It's not a morbid trail of tears.